Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the vocabulary session from the editorial column of the Hindu dated 31st October. This is the paper in front of you, a very interesting passage or paragraph has been given to you. Friends, read the paragraph, develop this habit of reading because it will help you a lot in any of the competitive exams. And when you read the paragraphs, you will come across unfamiliar words also. So, we will try to enhance the vocabulary today. I am SDS sir and we will focus on some new words from the passage. So, let us start the session for today. So, yes friends, so let us focus the first word for today. The first word in the editorial column is evoked. Evoked is used as a verb. Whenever you learn new words, we should know that what part of speech that word is. So, evoked is used as a verb. And evoke ka matlab kya hota hai? To bring to mind or to recollect. Kisi bhi cheez ko yaad dilana that is evoked. And try to link the words with a sentence. And this place evokes memory. Is jage ko dekh ke purani yaade taja ho jati hai. So, try to remember the words along by using it in a form of a sentence. And uske antonyms, uske kuch opposites bhi humko aa jane chahiye. To uske opposites kar lete hai. The antonyms of the words evoked are forget and uninspired. Let us move on with the second word from the editorial column. And second word is hai explicitly. Explicitly is used as an adverb. And it is matlab hai clearly and without any vagueness. Something which is very, very clear, explicit is explicitly. The boss gave explicit instructions to the staff. It them clear cut instructions the boss ne. Explicit instructions. And its antonym, the opposite words are implicit, ambiguous and unspecific. So, explicit ka one more synonym, specific. Chalte with the next word, expelled, which is used as a verb. And expel is to force to leave, kisi ko jane par vivash karna, banish, dismiss, turn out are a few synonyms of this word. And sentence mein kya Tom was expelled from school for indiscipline. Indiscipline ke karen usko school se nikal diya gaya. The antonyms of the words expelled, inspire, inhale. Let us move on with the next word, apparent, jo use hota hai as an adjective. And the meanings are clear or open to view, lucid, unmistakable are a few synonyms of this word apparent. Jack was in apparent danger. And the antonym for this word, obscured, unclear and indistinct. One more nice word, seized. Seized is used as a verb and matlab hai iska to come to an end, discontinue, terminate, halt, kisi bhi cheez ka tham jana is seized. The word gradually seized is an example. A few antonyms for this, continuance or persist, jo lagatar hota hai, are the opposites, persistent and the word is seize the antonym of the word persist or continuance. Next word facets. Facets is used as a noun and facet means any of the definable aspect that makes up a subject. The side, phases are a few synonyms of the word facet. Each facet of the problem requires, so each and every part, each and every side is the meaning of the word facet. The next word, unprecedented, which is used as an adverb, meaning is unexampled, new, novel, original is the meaning of this word unprecedented. Our team enjoyed unprecedented success last year. It was a new victory. Antonyms, familiar, one very nice word, add it to your dictionary, add it to your memory. The word is hackneyed, which is the opposite of the word unprecedented. Chalte with the next word, a new word, gubernatorial, which is an adjective. What is this term? A word is paragraph ke under of the Hindu editorial column, gubernatorial, and the meaning is relating to a governor, which means to control or 
to have a strong influence is the meaning of this word gubernatorial jo use hota hai as an adjective ousting is the next word which is a transitive verb is the meaning hai to remove by force or legal action or by compulsion vivash karna bahar jane ke liye some synonyms extrude or cast out the antonym of this word will be crown and throne an example the rebels ousted the dictator from power usko khader ke nikal diya that is ousted moving on to the next word deficit a easy word which is used as a noun inadequate in amount or quantity kami lack shortage scarcity dearth are a few synonyms of this word deficit the governor the government is facing a huge deficit after the tax reforms nay tax lagu kiye the kuch rebate zyada de diye the so now it was in deficit of funds antonyms iske ho jayenge opposites abundance adequate amplitude opulence a nice word again opulence and sufficiency these are the common words ek aur acha word hai purported means to claim to be true dikhana ki ye sahi hai affirm assert intended avouch allege and its opposite will be gain say or acknowledge I mean, example to support this the guide took the gullible tourist to purported ancient sites so which was shown to be true that they are ancient sites this is purported tourist को ले जाया गया गाइड द्वारा वट इज गलीबल गलीबल इज अवंस हु बिलीव एवरी वन जो सबकी बातें मान लेते हैं दैट इज गलीबल स्टेच्यूटरी स्टेच्यूटरी वार्निंग इट इज रिलेटेड टू अ लॉ कानून से रिलेटेड है रिलेटेड टू लॉ और रेगुलेटेड बाय लॉ और स्टेच्यूटरीज वट इज स्टेच्यूटरी स्टेच्यूटरीज इज रिलेटेड टू लॉ अगेन कानून एक्ट और ऑर्डिनेंस स्टेच्यूटरी वार्निंग इज गिवन टू लॉ ब्रेकर्स चेतावनी दी जाती है दैट इज स्टेच्यूटरी नेक्स्ट वर्ड आइसोलेशन अलूफ अकेलापन इज आइसोलेशन अकरिंग अलोन ऑफ वंस सॉलिटरीनेस सेक्लूजन अलोननेस आर अ फ्यू सिनोनिम्स ऑफ दिस वर्ड आइसोलेशन ही विश टू वर्क ऑन इज नॉवल इन आइसोलेशन वो अपना काम शांति से अकेले बैठ के करना चाहता था दैट इज एन आइसोलेशन एंड द एंटरनेम्स क्लस्टर्ड क्राउडेड और भीड़ दैट इज मॉब एक और अच्छा वर्ड पे चलते हैं डिस्क्रिशन विच इज अ नाउन एंड डिस्क्रिशन मीन्स इंडिविजुअल चॉइस ऑफ पावर ऑफ फ्री डिसीजन डिसीजन मेकिंग इज फ्री इज डिस्क्रिशन सरकम स्पेक्शन द सीईओ यूज हिज ओन डिस्क्रिशन वेन डीलिंग विथ अदर्स तो अपने खुद की सोच से ही अपने ही बलबूते पे डिसीजन लिया करता था एंड एंटरने विल बी कोर्स देखिए जबरदस्त लागू करना फोर्स कंपेल्ड और इनकॉन्टिनेंस विल बी द अपोजिट फॉर डिस्क्रिप्शन तो डिस्क्रिप्शन इज फ्री चॉइस वन मोर वर्ड सेंक्शन अगेन यूज एज अ वर्ब टू गिव इफेक्टिव ऑथोरिटी और अप्रूवल किसी भी चीज को अप्रूवल देना सहमति देना इज सेंक्शन to grant consent performance the bank has sanctioned the loan for after a thorough verification full verification ke baad bank ne loan sanction kiye usko grant kari hai antony will be prohibit decline disapprove and one more opposite for sanction is veto yes chalte hain aage prosecute which is a verb bring into legal action opposite ho jayega non fulfillment iska and the meaning of this example for prosecute the case is being prosecuted by the district collector prosecute is related to law or to bring into legal action likhta hai na apne padha hoga trespassers will be prosecuted illegal entry aap karoge aapke saza sunaye ja sakti hai kanun lagaya ja sakta hai so trespassers will be prosecuted this is the same meaning legal action will be taken prolog is a noun it is an introduction uh, introduction to some literary work or before a play in front of the audience 
a speech is made by the actor the speech made by the actor to the audience in a play is called as prologue confer is a verb confer means to bestow to give to compare the views of take the counsel to take advice from others that is confer discuss knowing how to read was a gift conferred with manhood nice example to support this word confer summon again verb is summon means to call to call upon for a specific action kisi ek action ke liye bulana that is summon convey muster are a few and synonyms for this word summon the king summoned his minister back to the palace usne apne mantri ko wapas apne rajya mein bulaya summon new word pithili which is used as an adjective having substance and point synonym succinct compact or thumbnail means pithili his latest novel is filled with pithy sayings about love and affection so to the point jo baat karta hai that is pithili antonyms will be verbose rambling wordy circumlocutory circuitous these are jo ghuma phira ke hota hai they are the opposites to the point pithili i hope this word is clear now titular as the word suggests related to title so having the title and honors belonging to an office or dignity without the duties so sirf wo title diya aapko you are direct position but you don't have any responsibility kuch kaam nahi karna hai us post ka but yes you get that title or the designation that is titular authority sorry although retired mr sharma remains the titular chairman of the company bhale ho retire ho chuke hain but aaj bhi us gaddi pe baithe hue hain doesn't have to do any task koi responsibility nahi hai but that title that honor respect is give one to him namesake pragmatism means logical which is used as a noun a practical approach the perfect candidate will balance vision with pragmatism sahi dhang se soch samajh ke is pragmat practically is pragmatism illogical unrealistic impractical utopian are a few antonyms for this word pragmatism delusion which is a noun something that is falsely propagated chalawa chimera fantasy so delusion is chalawa in hindi she has delusion about how much money can she make in modeling usko to samajh mein nahi aa raha hai but flowing in the dreams ki modeling karke bahut paise kama sakte hain aasani se antonym truth verity fact omnipotence one who has unlimited power or authority the word comes from omnipotent omni is a root word for all potent is the potential one who has the potential for everything all powerful jo sab kuch kaam kar sakta hai that is omnipotent okay. omnipotency one who has unlimited power or authority all powerful almighty are the synonyms for this word its universal religious belief that god is omnipotent ye sabki belief hai bhagwan sab jagah hai is omnipotent bhagwan sab kuch kar sakte hai yes next vicariously what is the meaning of this word vicariously you then is it performed or suffered by one person as a substitute for another or to the advantage of another simple meaning substitute shadnary so vicariously is assuming yourself dusra koi kaam kar raha ho aap us cheez ko mehsoos kar rahe ho that is vicariously next word is vindicate to free from blame koi bhi aarop se free bari ho jana that is vindicate to protect from attack defend or justify they will be completely completely vindicated by the evidence or its antonyms are disprove refute or rebuke these are the antonyms for this word vindicate that is to be free from blame aarop se mukt 
deification deif is a word related to god so deification means to glorify as of a supreme worth to make a god kisko highly dignify karna yes bhagwan ki tarike se manna that is deification dignify or aggrandize the people defeat the pm that is apne pradhan mantri ko us desh ke log apna bhagwan mante the they defeat the pm and the antonyms will be abase डिग्रेड ह्यूमिलिएट और डिमीन तुच्छ छोटा समझना डिमीन इज तुच्छ और छोटा समझ एंड डिफिकेशन इज टू ग्लोरीफाई भगवान जैसा मानना टू थिंक एज सुप्रीम एंड लास्ट फ्यू वर्ड्स सम अनफेमिलियर वर्ड्स शायद कुछ बच्चे ने पहली बार इन शब्दों को पढ़ा होगा ध्यान से पढ़ना एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग केयरफुली बेहमोत इज द वर्ड विच इज यूज एज अ नाउन बेहमोत समथिंग ऑफ अ मॉन्स्ट्रस साइज ह्यूज साइज विशाल का है जिसको हम हिंदी में बोलते हैं कोलोसल गाइजेंटिक एंड वन मोर नाइस वर्ड लेवियथन आर समथिंग ह्यूज फॉर एग्जाम्पल द लेटेस्ट एस यू वी इज अ रियल बेहमोत दैट डज फिट इन अ स्टैंडर्ड पार्किंग स्पेस वो जो नई एस यू वी आई है लेटेस्ट इतनी बड़ी साइज की है कि छोटे नॉर्मल पार्किंग स्पेस में उसको वो नहीं आ पाती a very nice example to support the meaning of this word behemoth antonym will be diminutive very very small tiny midget dwarf pygmy shrimp these are a few antonyms of this word behemoth moving on to one more unfamiliar word shenanigans shenanigans means it is used as a noun and it is the meaning is tricky or questionable practice or conduct or high spiritedness jyada hi high spirit mein hona mischievous activity gimmick juggle so khub dil khol ke masti karna shaitani karna is also known as shenanigans and simple example to make you understand students were engaged in youthful shenanigans on the last day of the school the last day of the school tha कोई डर नहीं बिंदास खुले आम दिल खोलकर उन्होंने उधम मचाया था दैट इज शनिगंज इन हाई स्पिरिट पूरे जोर से इज शनिगंज एंड द लास्ट वर्ड फॉर टुडे इज मेवरिक दिस वर्ड इज आल्सो रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द पैराग्राफ मेवरिक इज यूज एज अ नाउन व्हाट इज मेवरिक एन इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिविजुअल हु डज नॉट गो अलॉन्ग विद द ग्रुप जो अपने आप को अकेला ग्रुप से दूर रखना चाहता है दैट पर्सन इज नोन एज मेवरिक और सिंपल मीनिंग इंडिविजुअलिस्ट एंड लोन रेंज एंड दिस वर्ड इज कन्वेंशनल और कंफर्मेंस सो फ्रेंड्स दिस व अ फ्यू वर्ड्स बेस्ड फ्रॉम टूडेज एडिटोरियल कॉलम ऑफ द हिंदू एंड प्लीज डेवलप दिस हैबिट ऑफ वॉचिंग or reading the hindu it will help you a lot in all the exams whether it is ssc whether it is banking whether it is railways and so on yes so i hope you like this tutorial today and if you like this subscribe our channel watch our channel and see you soon again with the next editorial column vocabulary session till then enjoy learning thank you and bye bye all of you thank you all